Charles, will you ride with me? Always. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Jesus. Let's get on with this. Dynamite. 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 You were wrong! Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just... This is down. Thanks, buddy. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? And we're live. Welcome back to part 72 of the full game commentary and playthrough. It is time to leave La Kay. I know we just got here. However, much like Guarma, we have overstayed our welcome. This is becoming a popular theme and we are running out of map. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Dutch is playing a chess game in his head, making moves, anticipating the next move and counter move, attempting to think three steps ahead. However, this strategy isn't working anymore. There are far too many moving parts and also far too many missing parts. Hosea is gone, and Micah is going to take his place. That will have mixed results for the gang. White to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Hmm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They... Chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just... is country... In Roanoke Ridge, past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Okay, let's go find Charles. Charles, be right with me. Always. Always, Charles says. I love that. Charles, like Arthur, is loyal to the gang and considers them family. Charles also considers Arthur a brother. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. This is where it's come to, huh? 
Right there. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Sam Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Also recall at the end of Chapter 2 when Arthur and Charles looked for another camp and Arthur speculated on Dutch and caves. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. And here we are, about to go hide in a cave. Technically outside of a cave, but you know what I mean. I do like the symmetry of these two rides from a plot perspective. We started the game in the northwest corner of the map, and we are ending the game at the northeast corner of the chessboard, as it were. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, well, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. I'm just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway. That'll do. Come on. In another game and another world, Charles, John, Arthur, and Sadie should have split off and formed their own gang. They could have taken the girls and possibly the Reverend Mr. Pearson and Uncle. Miss Grimshaw will stay with Dutch, of course, and he can have Micah, Javier, and Bill. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall, the Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into war. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. 
Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Let's walk it from here. Let's ask this nice lady if she knows where Beaver Hollow is. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Y you'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. Not very friendly, Butcher Creek. These Murphy Hills, stranger, might watch where you wander. It's a bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. You probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. We can borrow these horses without consequences. Let's take the Tennessee Walker. Charles will give us some exposition on the way up on the Murphy Brood. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Hold up, 
Hold up. I need Fraser. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one. Okay, let's go to work and take out one of these jokers. Charles will tomahawk the other one. I'll take the other. Because I do the dang it! Damn it, they're onto us. It's close. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Come on. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's a stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite or stealth, as if that's an option. I always choose dynamite because Arthur loves dynamite and I hate these jokers. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Okay. Get in a bit closer and throw it into the cave. Hey, dynamite, Arthur. Here we go. Looks like it's on then, Charles. Here they come. The good news is the dynamite took out perhaps 30%. And the better news is, as far as caves go, this one isn't so claustrophobic. Okay, Arthur! You were wrong about these crazy sons of bitches! And the bad news is, we still have to go in there and dig them out. First playthrough, I was really worried about shooting Charles. Don't worry about shooting Charles. Charles can take care of himself. Charles will be fine. Last one. Time for a mag dump. Charles, you see any more? Not for now. Come on, let's get that poor girl out of the cage. So satisfying. Now we have to rescue Meredith. It's okay, miss. Please don't kill me. Just calm down. Stay away from me. We ain't gonna hurt you. I read somewhere, cannot recall where, that this gesture, holding the hands out, exposing the palms, 
exists in every culture and goes back to the caveman days. And in every culture it means the same thing, a reassurance, a calming gesture. I mean you no harm and are here to help. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. It's okay. This poor girl's had a tough time of it. Best not to speculate on the horrors she was subjected to. Luckily, Arthur and Charles rescued her in time. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Also recall how we had to rescue that German gold merchant at the start of Chapter 3. We are in the hero business, to paraphrase Quentin Tarantino, and brother, business is good. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... They... Okay. Let's get her back home. They, they, um, it's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. This event is probably timed. Arthur doesn't care. We shall take it slow and see if we can get any extra dialogue. It's all right, miss. <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Meredith looks great in this morning light. Let's put her on the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mama. Mom! Mom! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! She saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew guys. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. A reward. Are you kidding me? We have more cash than we can spend. And also, nothing to spend it on. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. That was nice, and Arthur is feeling good about himself. And now we meet an old friend, so to speak. This is death? Oh no. 
You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. One of my favorite scenes. I love how the door slams in his face. He's so disappointed. The less said, the better. Let's move on. You might think this mission is over, and you would be wrong. Back at the new camp, Dutch is formulating another plan, and Leviticus Cornwall is at the center of it. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly. Honestly, I didn't even notice that poor Molly was missing. Miss it's O'Shea. funny, you stuck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am not him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself, You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. Molly will not be ignored. Not anymore. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worthy. <laughs> you told on oh, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur, trying to stop this runaway train, However, Dutch no longer listens to Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> He's a fool. He's a You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, your majesty? You... <laughs> and Miss Grimshaw takes charge. <sighs> she knew the rules, Arthur. Molly was her responsibility. Miss Grimshaw is in charge of the camp females. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you! Quit your lollygagging! Right. Get back to work! Yeah. We know who's really responsible, and we will not be discussing that in this episode. Alright. Let's get on with this. And you may think this video is over, and you would be wrong. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Arthur also did the sneak option for science. The results went pretty much as one would expect. I surprised them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. We start off with the bow until it all sets off. You see that? Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly. Let's move. Come on.
They will attack with machetes. Do not let them get close to you. Machetes are a one-shot kill. Looks like it's on there, Charles! No! Someone's down there! She's alive! Ah! Also note all of the free aiming Arthur is doing for you. Just calm down. <laughs> Stay away from me. Easy peasy, rescue Meredith, squeezy. Poor Molly, and poor Miss Grimshaw for having to kill her. This game breaks your heart. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Also, welcome to Chapter 6. This game breaks your heart, and chapter 6 is the inevitable conclusion. Strap in, and I will see you in part 73. <coughs> this video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews. And also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I had fun with you today. Here. I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that.